Yes. So today I am gonna to explain you find the distance from the point Q point Q to the line. This is the line vector equation is given. So there are in fact several methods. So I will explain you first method. Later I will explain another method. So if I draw a diagram, so this is the line, this is the vector equation, same. 1 negative 2 3 come plus t 4 7 negative 5. So this is the point, this point, 2 4 3 x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. So from this point you go perpendicular, this will be the distance. Distance from point to the line. So question is, what is the length of QN? Yes. So, how can I solve this problem? I just take any point on this line. Any point. For this, I need to substitute a value for t. I just I have to substitute any real number, negative, positive, decimal, whatever. But t equal let's say t equals zero, so it will be easier. For t equals zero, we get p one negative two and three. So. I mark the point here. So we get a factor PQ. I want to get scalar projection of PQ onto this line. If I get scalar projection of this PQ onto this line, I get the distance of PN. But we are, we are interested to find this distance, QN. So, what will happen if I find PN? Why I don't find directly QN? I cannot find directly QN because I don't know the direction of this normal, this line, basically normal of this line. Because three-dimensional space. So, in fact, in another method, we can we go that way. But right now in this method I want to find a projection, scalar projection of PQ onto this line. So as you remember this is the formula for scalar projection. So scalar projection of U vector u onto vector v. This is the formula. So, I don't discuss the formula. I just want to show you how the application. So, this is general formula. How can we adjust this formula for our specific problem? So basically u is u vector u here p q how do i find p q this from this point coordinate of this point i subtract uh, point q so basically okay so q is 2 4 3, this is the coordinate of Q minus coordinate of P 1 minus 2 3 equal so 2 minus 1 1 4 minus negative 2 6 3 minus 3 equals 0 so 
This is basically P, Q or U. So for V in this equation will be direction of this line. So what is the direction of this line? This is the direction. 4, 7, negative 5. This is the direction of this line. So when I plug the formula again, so Pn is going to be so scalar magnitude of Pn, not vector. So absolute value 160.47 negative 5 over magnitude of this this vector 4 square plus 7 square plus minus negative 5 square absolute value so as you know uv dot product so uv so what is the dot product 1 times 4 1 times 4 plus 6 times 7 plus 0 times negative 5 and absolute value okay this is square root so again absolute so 4 square plus 7 square minus 5 square it is it is going to be root 90 square root 90 so when I work on this, I get the result of 46 over 3 root 10. So this is Pn. So I find Pn. So what I will do now, if I find Pq, magnitude of Pq, this distance. I've already find this one. So I can use Pythagorean theorem. I can find the distance. So how do you find PQ? PQ magnitude of PQ will be so PQ we know 160. This is the vector. So magnitude will be 1 square plus 6 square plus 0 square square root 1 square plus 6 square plus 0 square square root so root 37 yes basically what I said this is PN yeah this is PQ then how do you find QN if we use Pythagorean theorem QN is going to be square root PQ square plus no PQ square minus this is because this is hypotenuse okay P and square then absolute value so if I plot the number we don't our spaces is not much P Q P Q this one so square root 37 square minus 46 over 3 root 10 root 10 square then square root then absolute value so if you work on this this is very easy for your level so we get 3.67